if we have the pa controller or any other controller in our matlab simulation we can run directly and we will see the waveforms so here we will get the results same like that if we have the fuzzy logic in our matlab simulation if you run directly you will get the error so if you have the fuzzy logic in our system we can't run directly our matlab simulation there is a other process so let's see how to run fuzzy logic in matlab simulation Before going to know how to run fuzzy in MATLAB, we should know difference between fuzzy logic with the other control system. For example, I am taking the PA controllers. You can take any PAD controllers. If you want to take the PA controller in our system, we should give the proportional gain and integral gain by using tuning process. This is the process to implement the PA controller. If you take the fuzzy logic, here we are not adding gains and we are not doing the tuning process. Here we are using the rule based system. Okay, that is the fuzzy logic. And the difference between the fuzzy logic and the other logics, if you take the normal Boolean logic, it will tell you whether it is 1 or 0, means whether it is true or false. For example, if you say our room is hot or cool, the Boolean will tell like this only. But when coming to the fuzzy, it will tell you precisely value means in between 0 to 1 it will tell you 0 0.1 0 0.5 0 0.7 everything it will tell you means if you see the room temperature it will tell like extremely hot or normally hot or extremely cool so like this precise value it will tell that is the advantage of the fuzzy logic system okay now let's see block diagram of fuzzy logic this is the block diagram of the fuzzy logic system here we have three steps First one is the fuzzification and second one is the fuzzy interface system nothing but the writing the rules. Here we are writing the rules and making the decisions that is the second step. And coming to third step that is the defuzzification. These three steps involving in fuzzy logic controller. Okay. So coming to the first step we are having the crisp input only in our system like we have the voltage current values only. So converting that crisp input values into the fuzzy values. So converting crisp into fuzzy set that is known as fuzzification that is the first step. And coming to the second step based on the data we have based on the rules we are making the decisions so here we are writing the rules okay this is the fuzzy interface system here we are making the rules that is the main heart of the fuzzy logic writing the rules okay at the last step we are converting the this fuzzy sets into normal crisp set values because system need only crisp values okay for controlling purpose only we are converting that crisp into fuzzy so at the final step we need to again converting that fuzzy into the crisp value and then we can give that into the system this is the main block diagram of the fuzzy logic and let's see what is the difference between the fuzzy logic with the other controllers if you compare the fuzzy logic controller with the normal pid controller groups when coming to designing aspect pa controller is very simple to design and it require gain values by tuning because we are writing the rules here okay when coming to the fuzzy logic it is complex to design and it requires fuzzy interface system with writing rules and membership functions and coming to the performance pa controller will struggle with the variability for example if you take the solar system or wind energy the input is completely variable with respect to the wind and the temperature and the radiation so at that situation it will struggle to get the exact value but pa controller good at reducing the steady state error and coming to fuzzy it is better to handling the variability for example if you take the solar system or wind with respect to have the variability of input supply it will handle better when compared to other controllers that's the advantage of the fuzzy logic system and it is adapted to any changing conditions and coming to adaptability pa controller is limited flexibility it does not have that much flexibility and even it is the low robust when compared to fuzzy it is highly flexible and more robust and coming to implementation you can implement pa controller in simple and low computational load and coming to the fuzzy you can implement it anywhere in simple or complex and higher computational loads that is the difference between fuzzy logic other controllers now let's see how to run fuzzy logic in our system here you need to identify the main thing when compared to other control systems in fuzzy logic we are writing the rules there is no block in the matlab simulation for writing the rules we need to write the this rule separately and take into the simulation that is the main thing and if you take the pi we can directly add the gain values in the matlab simulation blocks itself but in fuzzy logic we can't write the rules in matlab simulation block we need to write the outside and take into the system 
now let's see how to run the fuzzy in matlab so here if you see the matlab simulation here we have the fuzzy logic block here we are just having the fuzzy block that's it fuzzy interface system but here we are not writing the rules okay it is just a interface system so first of all before going to run directly you should take the rules for that purpose go to command window this is the process just remember before going to run the matlab go to command window and write fuzzy f u z z y and click on enter then fuzzy window will open now click on file then click on import and again click on from file there you can able to take the dot fis file dot fis is nothing but the fuzzy interface system so here in this dot fis file i already written the rules i am just taking that rules here so click on open and again go to file and click on export and click on to workspace that's it these are the two steps import and export here these two yellow color indicates the inputs of our fuzzy set and this last one is output in between this we are writing the rules okay, these are the rules we are writing here and here you can able to see the name mum that is the one of the method in the fuzzy logic in the fuzzy logic we have two types of solving methods first one is the mamdani second one is the takagi sugano so these two methods we are using here in our system i am using the mamdani now go to your simulation and run directly you can able to get the output and here you can able to see the output waveforms also that's it this is the process to run the fuzzy blocks in any simulation circuit just remember if you have the fuzzy logic controller in your matlab simulation don't run directly first of all go to command window and type fuzzy and then import and export the dot fis rules file then only you can go to your simulation again and run you can able to get the results this is how we need to run okay in next video i will tell you how to design this fuzzy logic blocks and how to write the fuzzy logic rules and all in this video i just need to tell you how to run it that's it okay thank you